Hello, it's Theo again. And you might be asking yourself, uh, what is this person wearing? Uh, the answer is a tutu on my head and a tutu on my neck. And you might be wondering, but why? And the answer is because I feel like it. So hi, I'm back. Um, I'm back to read you another story. Today's story is called, Are You a Boy or Are You a Girl? Let's get into it. Are You a Boy or Are You a Girl? by Sarah Savage and Fox Fisher. My name is Tiny and this is my family. We have just moved to a new town because dad has a job as a bus driver. We have a beautiful new house and I will be going to a new school. This is my bedroom in our new house. Dad has built me a special bed that looks like a castle. It's so big that I can keep all of my toys underneath and still have space to play with my little sister, Fiona. Next to my bed are my fancy dress and toy boxes. Dressing up is my favorite thing to do. Fiona and I love to pretend we are animals or doctors or even to host our own talent show. Tiny, asks Fiona, are you a boy or are you a girl today? Mom lets us dress up whenever we want. Today we are going to the park. My sister is a cowboy and I am dressed as a butterfly. When we get home, Dad is back from work and is cooking dinner. We are having spaghetti, my favorite. Mom and I are getting my bag and clothes ready for the first day at school. I hope I make some friends. Super tiny, look, I've washed your favorite top for school tomorrow, Mom says. The school is much bigger than my last one, but the teacher is very friendly and shows me where to sit. The teacher tells the whole class, it's Tiny's first day here, so please be nice. A boy shouts, Tiny, what a silly name. I can't tell if it's a girl or a boy. My new teacher says, Buster, that's rude. Why does it matter if they are a boy or a girl? This morning is special because some firefighters are coming in to speak to us about fire safety. Girls can't be firefighters, Mia says. But look, there is a lady driving the fire engine. Later on, we play football, my favorite. Buster kicks the ball away and says, girls can't play football, it's for boys only. Mia says, I don't think it matters who plays as long as we are all having fun. Back in class, I draw a picture of Mia and Charlie for the school art show. Buster spills my paint and laughs. Tiny is not a he, tiny is not a she, tiny is an it. The teacher says, Buster, don't be a bully. Why does it matter if tiny is a girl or a boy? Now say sorry and help tiny tidy up. Sorry, says Buster. It's okay, I reply. Tiny says, what does it mean to be a boy or a girl? I like eating cakes, playing football, dressing up, and watching the stars. Oh, me too, says Buster. After school, Charlie and Mia come over to my house to play with me and my new neighbor, Alfie. We play in my bedroom, pretending to be wild creatures. Charlie is a crocodile, Mia is a tiger, Alfie is a fish, and I am an owl. As we are tidying up to get ready for dinner, Alfie asks me, Tiny, are you a boy or are you a girl? I am me. At the end of the day, we're all different and we all have many things in common. And no matter how much you confuse me or how different from me you are, you deserve respect. Everyone deserves to be respected. So, 
I'm going to keep on being me. And I hope you'll keep on being you. Because that's all we can do. <laughs>